Um, swimming to me is my life. Honestly, I could not imagine life without it. As I dive in, I can just let whatever problems happen that day just wash away. And I started swimming when I was around five years old, uh, just to learn how to swim constantly being surrounded by water here in Australia. But mainly I started swimming as a form of hydrotherapy. So I was born with cerebral palsy down the left side of my body. Uh, which affects my balance, coordination, and movement at times. So as I was younger, I kind of wanted to find that one thing that I could do. So it wasn't until I started swimming in the pool that I found that sense of freedom and my, my happy place. Um, and I started competing when I was around 12 years old. So I've been competing for, I guess, the past 10 years or so. Uh, I'm definitely used to the competition and um, competing on a big stage, but it still gets very, very nerve-wracking. Yep, so in um, September, I competed at the World Power Swimming Championships in London. And at that competition, I won a gold medal in the 400 meters freestyle S9 to claim my first individual world title. Just that world champion was the missing puzzle piece. I worked extremely hard and to finally get my hand on that individual world title was incredibly special. I'm in the pool 10 sessions a week. Uh, morning and afternoon, except uh, Wednesday afternoon and Sunday, Sunday is rest day, um, as well as two gym sessions a week. Uh, I really do have a massive team behind me. I've got the incredible support of my mum and my two sisters and family, my swim coach and teammates. Um, you know, th they get me to where I am really. Without my coach, I wouldn't be here. It's incredibly humbling to, to be recognised and nominated for such a prestigious award. You know, we um, get into sport because we love it and not really for the recognition. I kind of felt like I belonged and in the water, um, it didn't really matter about my disability. It was all about my abilities and what I could do. And I loved that.